So we're down on the pier head, or stood in pier head, because in just over six weeks' time, Sunday 4th of December, you will see thousands upon thousands of blue and red Santas again. The Santa Dash is back. Alan, yeah, back event again. director. Uh, how many years now for Santa Dash Liverpool? Uh, amazingly, we started in 2004, uh, 2004, so it's the 13th year. Yeah, who'd have thought it would last that long? 13 years, 13 of, years. of seeing them Santas coming down the flyover, which is an amazing sight when you come and see it, isn't it? Spectacular sight. It's probably the, the, the most talked about aspect of the, the event when they're going up and down both flyovers. Uh, it's a stunning view to see so many people taking part every year. So last year we had 8,000 8, 8, Santas. Yeah, we want to we try and beat that this year, don't we? Yeah, we've, we've got to be up around the 10,000 mark, really, to be competing with the, uh, the main world title challenges which is the great Santa run in Las Vegas so we we need to be north of our 8,000 mark uh, this year to be uh, to be pushing them okay so we really want people to get involved right now yeah, and, and yeah, sign sure. up we were talking yeah. off camera before a lot of people kind of go god it's this Sunday we, but yeah. we want people involved right now yeah we need we need people to uh, to enter as early as possible so we can manage it and make sure we've got enough Santa suits uh, and more importantly the the, uh, the incredible medals that we give out every year uh, which we find people put on the Christmas trees as well Brilliant. they use them as decorations so we need to uh, to ensure that we get everybody accommodated in sorted get the suits out and get the medals ready for the day so uh, yeah early entry is recommended okay charity you've got some official charities yes. which we'll go through but you can run for any charity so if there's something that is close to your heart that you want to do uh, yeah. you, you, can, you can do whatever people can, can can run for anybody it's at the discretion who they run for but the official event charities are Everton in the community Radio City's Cash for Kids and Zoe's Place but uh, there's a whole host of charities who who use the uh, you know the, the magical nature of the event to raise money for themselves and that's absolutely fine I love the atmosphere as I've never ran it and I probably never will to be to be fair but I love coming down and just experiencing that atmosphere down here on the start line on the finish line with, with the snow falling and it's great isn't it it's great for the city as yeah, well. it, it's an amazing day it's a great spectacle for the city and we can guarantee snow of course particularly at the uh, at the finish line uh, and when you consider the the lead runners who will come over the line in about 17 18 minutes we've still got quite a few still passing the uh, start line down here at the pier head so we've got effectively three miles in the city center absolutely packed with uh, with dashing santas in the, in their red and blue outfits okay so sunday 4th of december what sunday. time do we start what time do we anticipate to be finished give give us the info we need yeah the, the day itself is a bit like christmas for us when when it, it passes over fairly quickly and you think all that effort for, for that it starts at 9 30 uh, and it finishes about half 11 ish but of course we've got the uh, the mini dash for the kids we have around 750 uh, age 12 or under taking part they'll they'll do a 1k jog around from castle street that normally happens around uh, about 11 15 so basically they're all drifting off to to wherever they get to on the day notably the uh, there's a few pubs that are busy the after the hostelries that, yes. do, do reasonably well throughout yes. the day uh, so the, the day lasts around till about midday great perfect uh, good luck with it is it lie down time for you on the 5th of December are you, are you chilled out then for another 12 months more or less yeah we have a bit of mopping up to do but, but effectively that brings the uh, the BTR calendar to a close but uh, then it starts again for next year so no rest for the wicked brilliant Alan thank you we look forward to it Santa Dash it's the official start of Christmas in Liverpool for me it's Sunday 4th of December kick off here on the Pierhead. get involved <laughs>